We're learning new information at this hour about the victims of a deadly house fire in Dayton. Firefighters were called to Pinehurst Avenue off North Main Street in Dayton around 1 this morning. They were not able to save two people inside. Rob Sneed is live with what he's just learned. Rob? Well, John and Holly, I just got off the phone with the Montgomery County Corner. Terrible news this morning. One of the victims was indeed a child, 15-year-old Ricky Turner. The other victim who died in that fire, 37-year-old Tia Strickland. You can see uh, the, the crews, they managed to put the flames out uh, moments ago, hours ago rather, but uh, this is quiet now. But to know that a child died inside of this home is shocking to neighbors who saw this firsthand. Two News was the first on the scene seconds after crews found the victims inside the home. Dayton firefighters climbed on top of the roof and busted through the windows to find the, these victims. Crews rushed to save their lives, but unfortunately it was too late. Two of the three inside of the home did die. Authorities say the fire started sometime after one this morning. They say this was indeed a large fire, and they don't believe there were any working smoke detectors inside the home. The fire chief says this should serve as a reminder to everyone. It is vital that everyone has working smoke detectors inside of their homes to prevent deaths like these from happening. They detect smoke, and uh uh, long before the smoke becomes dangerous to them so they can make uh, successfully escape the building. Um, in this case, unfortunately, it uh, uh, doesn't appear they had working smoke detectors. And right now, crews are working to determine an exact cause of this fire. Of course, when we get more information, we will get that information back to you. Reporting live in Dayton, Rob Sneed, 2 News Today, working for you.